All right, let's get into this. Today is the day for WWE Dragon Rights, presented by Boy123 Jim. And don't forget that this video is also presented by the 7 Days Podcast, which will be up tomorrow. So let's begin today's WWE Bragging Rights. Uh, opens with awful Stephanie McMahon. So at the beginning, she just announced matches, you know, oh, Rollins, Jericho, and Strowman will face uh, New Day, and Strowman got the win. Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, they teamed up against Cesaro and Sheamus. They won their match, even though Kevin Owens looked weak as hell, because Kevin Owens got broke kick, and Reigns had to spear Sheamus down, and then Owens was pinning uh, Sheamus unconsciously. So, what can I say about that? Kendrick beat Sincaro. Goldberg and uh, Lesnar. I'll get to that in a sec. Nia Jax, Alicia Fox versus Sasha Banks and Charlotte. Sasha Banks made Alicia Fox tap out to the uh, thingy. The uh, bank statement, yeah. And the worst match of the night ends so when Cass and Luke Gallows and Anderson against Golden Truth and the shining stars of the Puerto Rico. I can't roll my arms. Who won this match? Who fucking cares? There's where Enzo and Cass and Gallus and Anderson. Gallus and Anderson stole the win because Enzo's about to jump off the top rope. And yeah. That was it. So Goldberg and Lesnar. Look, I mean, Goldberg was a little bit excited, too excited to me. Like, when he tried to close on the, the, the security guard, he almost closed on himself, Cactus Jack style, onto the outside. But uh, besides all that, you know, Goldberg, you know, he looked good. You know, he was sweating, like, he was sweating buckets. But, you know, I was hoping that Goldberg would do his entrance properly, like, while he was wearing a shirt. But he did, like, he did the kick first and then a punch and then an uppercut. I'm like, no. It's, you're supposed to lift both hands up, you know, you know, growl and shit. And then, you uppercut, right punch, and kick, you know. One day, I'm, I'm, I'm going to freaking do, like, a video of me doing the entrance. It's going to look awful, but he's he, he should do it how it's supposed to be done. All right? Um, so, yeah. I love the segment. The segment got me hyped as shit. That's the segment that got me to make Raw close to decent. Now, let's get to the important part. This reminded me of 2005, like, watching uh, 2005 clips of uh, brand warfare. Stephanie and Mick Foley in the ring and before Mick, Stephanie McMahon could, could, could continue talking, thank Christ, Shane McMahon came out and then interrupted her because she's nauseating to listen to, all right? And then they were traded some words and then, you know, Stephanie brings out Team Raw. So, SmackDown came through. They came in like if, <laughs> I swear to God, they came in like, like, if they were intruding the show when they're not supposed to. And it, it was awesome. And then the most important guy got the microphone. Dean Ambrose, in my eyes. Do you want to know why? Because Rollins and Reigns were in the ring. And I'm thinking, S.H.I.E.L.D. And Ambrose, he was pacing back and forth. I'm like, oh shit, here we go, here we go. And then when he said that, I'm like, oh, he's gonna. And he struck Jericho, and then they had the brawl, and then... You know, uh, uh, a lot of shit happened. That this segment alone built me up, sold me for Survivor Series. Everything weeks prior, Monday Night Raw side, I don't care. SmackDown a little bit. So, yeah. So that was it for Monday Night Raw from start to finish. I cared only about the promos and the segments and the brand warfare in the end. Besides that. I didn't care about nothing, I didn't care about the matches, or what was the point of of the show. I didn't really care at all. Like, it, it was just that boring. So let me know in the comments below of what you think about Monday Night Raw, as we're going to transition over to Tuesday Night Smackdown. So we come to you live on Smackdown in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania to start the show. We had Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan coming out, hyping up about Edge and the Cutting Edge and the Undertaker return. And we started off the show with the with a great 
20 minute intercontinental championship match I enjoyed it I was hoping that Ziggler would win but in the end the Miz got help from Maurice with a roll with a roll up and then Maurice pushed Miz over to cover Dolph Ziggler and get the win and I was a little bit but her I'm like you know what I guess uh, the Miz I guess the Miz is the guy so here we go Miz being champion again he and he calls it the the uh, Miz Intercontinental Championship Reunion World Tour. I don't know. And then after that, after that, you know, Ziggler was just chilling in the ring, looking sad as fuck. And then after that, we go to we go to backstage with Daniel Bryan and Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss is trying to convince Daniel, which I'm pretty sure he did, that um about the match that they had the week prior at Glasgow with the with the screw up with. Alexa Bliss's foot being on the ropes and the referee was like not paying attention at all and Daniel Bryan confirmed that she will get her rematch and Alexa Bliss said when when am I gonna get my rematch I assume like I said TLC bro we're like two weeks from it anyway so t so TLC is the place to be and Natalia comes up starts making some chumbo wamba lyrics or motivational speaking and uh, Alexa Bliss was just like, you know what, fuck this shit. She's our coach. I'm out. So then uh, we have Kalisto versus Oni Lorcan, which was a short match, like two or three minute match, and Kalisto was able to get the win. I predict that Baron Corbin is going to screw over Kalisto at, at Survivor Series and not let the Cruiserweights come to Raw. That's what I think is going to happen. If Baron Corbin was screwed by, Kali by Kalisto to not be at Survivor Series, then I do see Kalisto getting screwed by Baron Corbin at Survivor Series. After that, we had, uh, we still to come, it was Carmella versus Nikki Bell. We had backstage sec, we had a backstage scene of the Undertaker's hat and the Undertaker's arm appears in the shot and he picks up his hat. And I'm like, oh shit, I can't wait. And after that, Booker T. Gave some motivational speaking to every everyone every tag team that's in the, the tag team Survivor Series match uh, this Sunday. Uh, Bree Zongo came through and they made fun of Booker T, calling him King Booger, and then uh, Booker T just went off and he just said, "Can you dig that suck?" Nikki Bella versus Carmella it ended in calamity, chaos, whatever you want to call it, right? It was a decent match, and then after that, Charlotte, with her big titties, had to rip the shirt off. Had to rip the shirt, right? She comes through. The women's champion of Raw comes through, and then Nick, Nikki Bella was agitated already, and she just elbows freaking Charlotte. And after brings her to the ring, having a scrap, and after every every um, member of the Raw women's team came through. Now, Bailey did look awkward as fuck to be in that position. But anyways, Natalia and Becky Lynch and, all, and Naomi came through and, and Alexa Bliss also. And Team Blue was standing tall in the ring. And then we had a six-man tag a 16-man actually tag team match. Um, I actually didn't care at first, but then everyone was hyped. So I'm like, all right, why not? I can run Grand Apple 2 to get the win. You know, the match was actually decent. And then we go to the main event. Which was the cutting edge. Edge returned with Tony Chemo with the the rated R superstar. I was like, oh my god! If only I was back in 2011, bro. And after Edge was shaking else with hand and set up the WWE Champion ten, and Edge went up to Randy Orton, saying saying how Bray Wyatt is the is the puppeteer, right? Of Randy Orton not even speaking, you know. Randy Bray Wyatt said the Randy Orton that you once knew is dead. You're gonna see a new Randy Orton at Survivor Series, and all of that with the Undertaker come through in the end, saying, "Look, I am back. WrestleMania is no longer the place that will justify me, justify my career anymore. I am back, taking souls and digging holes, and I and I'm saying." Taking souls and fucking hoes. And the Undertaker makes, basically made a threat saying, If you lose, SmackDown loses, you're going to face the dead man. And Raw better rest in peace. And SmackDown is done. So, who wins? Who gets the win this week? 
It's SmackDown Live! Do you want to know why I, SmackDown Live got the win this week? It's because I cared more on SmackDown than I cared about Raw. I actually paid attention to the matches on SmackDown than I did on Monday Night Raw. One day! I know one day Raw's going to win this shit. But I have to say, SmackDown gets the win. Because, you know, fucking Raw... All I cared about, like I said, was the segments alone. I didn't care about not one fucking match. Not one match. I cared about the Intercontinental Championship match. And I cared about... I did care about the women's match a little bit. Until it ended with the chaos. And the tag team, I didn't care at first. But then I cared in the end. So, that counts as something. Because at least for Raw, I didn't care about nothing. Nothing. Period. I didn't review the entire show. Like, SmackDown, I guess, you know, two hours, just better. Just, it's just, it's just better. One day, I know, I, I know Raw's gonna win one day. And I don't think I'm gonna count the one that's in Toronto this Monday. Because that's the one, I'm going to Monday Night Raw this Monday. I already bought the tickets. And, um, I'm going to Raw this week. And... I don't know if I should count it because I I don't know because I'm there and it's gonna be a different aspect. I mean, actually, gonna be three hours, but I'm but I'm there. But uh, regardless, SmackDown gets the job done tonight or this week, I should say. And SmackDown gets the bragging rights on this episode, but will SmackDown get the bragging rights this Sunday? at WWE Survivor Series in the greatest country in the fucking world, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So what did you guys think of today's episode of WWE Raw vs. SmackDown or SmackDown vs. Raw bragging rights? Did you agree? Did I choose the right brand? Did, did I make the right choice of having SmackDown being the winner this week again? Basically in this entire series so far. Like I said, I'm hoping that Raw gets one win. SmackDown has been undefeated so far. Raw, you know, Raw hasn't got the job done. So, we're going to have to wait and see. But I don't know if I should count. Like I said, I don't know if I should count this past, this Monday coming up. But, um, yeah, just leave your comments below and leave a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter at boy 123 gym And, um... I think that's all there is to it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Share the video all over the place. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. A later. We some southern boys with the primal strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain.